on the list here i quickly want to mention um news here regarding cortez um i have to be honest um i've been liking what cortez cortez has been doing for a while now um i've really liked the flipping uptick in quality i feel like um the last few years i feel like maybe the sales have gone crazy good and instead of some brands just churning out the same nonsense again i feel like the um, Cortez team have basically invested every single penny if for me anyway from the outside it looks like they invested every single penny that they've made in selling t-shirts doing all these you know mystery drops and stuff flash sales whatever it may be and they've invested it back into the product because number one the imagery the imagery has improved tenfold the styling has improved in the shoots the lookbooks the models they're casting and fundamentally the clothing the pieces themselves look so much better than they did maybe a couple of years ago and it's so cool to see that evolution i think that's always been one of the best things about being a fan of a streetwear brand is that you start buying a brand in streetwear when it kind of in its, is in its infancy and then along the way um especially when you're young you basically get to grow up with the brand the brand either kind of evolves and starts making more quote-unquote mature pieces um their quality increases they start opening stores they maybe start um having new customers and shit or maybe you even start kind of hanging out and get to the people behind the scenes but regardless you get to see it go from being a t-shirt brand and then kind of building itself up into like a fully fledged collection with quote unquote cut and sew and all this malarkey people kind of know and love and this is a good example of it with some of the pieces that are coming up in their new drop that they're about to have um in the next couple of days and one of the things that i love the best is this jacket um it's um it reminds me i forgot the name of the jacket but there was a particular jacket in new york that used to get boosted all the time that supreme make a version of it as well um it's really big it's really padded parker um it's got loads of down filling inside it i think the supreme might have like 700 down inside of it and stuff and they've made different variations of it over the years and um cortes have basically made their version of it in this lovely bone ivory off-white type of colorway and it's absolutely beautiful looking um you can see at the front here it's got loads of kind of zip compartments maybe at the front chest pocket so maybe you can put your hands in the chest there which i've always been a fan of great big pockets in the front um nice big velcro straps as well and it just looks fucking warm as hell but if i had one slight criticism about this parker would just be the logo at the back um i've never been super fond of the Cortez logo um the alcatraz logo thing personally myself it's never been super fond of it but i do like this attempt to make it um you know somewhat tonal it looks like because the sky's shadow is behind it so i think the logo itself is white so the, if the jacket itself is off white then the logo is white so it doesn't show up too much i'm not really the biggest fan of like um big back logos on jackets personally i much prefer the little you know cortez side you know little script they got here in the front as opposed to the big brand logo in the back but again this is just me being a bit of a nitpicky asshole um the leather jackets they make are really great um i kind of get a lot of like old school avrex and i forgot what the um, 80s brand was but there's a particular 80s brand that they used to make i think it might be members only or something but i think a lot of courty leather jackets or these sort of shapes kind of remind me of those sort of like leather jackets from the 80s and stuff so they do a really good job of those and one of courty's is like kind of you know um, bread and butter the thing that they absolutely smash out of the park for me are their track suits like also or, or their suits right their top and bottoms they're always always fantastic and this is a really good example of it you've got the alcatraz logo and it's sort of like um repeated all over this um olive green denim jean sort of setup and again this kind of gives me dip set diplomat type of vibes of course because it's filmed in it looks like the pictures are taken in new york anyway but it definitely gives me that sort of feeling um nice and baggy fit um the jacket fits just right and it just looks great you know what i mean like with a nice white crisp white t-shirt underneath like this model's wearing or just with a basic black t-shirt like this model's wearing here and i think they've got on tims as well so it's very very apt and very on point considering where they're at and where it's been filmed and another cool, cool addition i'm not gonna lie is this this logo because i'm not really a f as much as i don't like the Cortez alcatraz logo i'm also not the biggest fan of the script to be honest you know that's the weird thing like that's why I've, that's why i know i like the brand because i don't like the how the logo is kind of like splayed out but i'm also appreciating from the graphic design point of view how they've been able to work the c 
because the sea is starting to look like a thing now. I'm starting to get my eyes are starting to get used to it, and it's starting to look like a thing. It looks fucking fantastic. I'm not too sure if this is mohair, this jumper, but essentially it's a nice um, knitwear sweater, and you got the big C here in that kind of yellowy. I don't know if it's a yellow, it's an off white kind of colorway with a star at the end of it. It looks really fucking fantastic. I'm gonna be honest, and I think I'm at a point now because I'm never gonna wear Palace, right? Because you know I think the fucking founders are cunts. So I'd prefer to put my money to, with another UK brand. If I was going to buy another UK brand to support, I think Cortez would definitely be the one that I would definitely be checking out because they've got some really, really cool shit out there. Um, so this is a tweet courtesy of their account. It says their store's going to open on Friday the 7th, London time, 20 plus new products, um, worldwide shipping available, ships within 10 to 15 working days, sign up on Cortez. Um, so sign up on crtz.xyz, early password access via our Twitter tomorrow rules the world um and obviously pictures by chris current so absolutely incredible pictures love everything about it of course you know about the random drops like this is standard for streetwear i think the fashion people are freaking out with phoebe philo oh my god she's dropping random edits she's dropping edits throughout the sit throughout the year no seasonal stuff no runway this is standard for streetwear and if what this allows it allows brands um, that are small, brands that are still beginning, brands that are in the infancy, brands that are kind of building to slowly but surely develop. It allows you time to, you know, have a spark of inspiration. It allows time for your customers to save up some money. It just allows time for you to make cool, interesting things throughout the year. And you can drop them when you need to drop them. And if you've got a big jacket that you want to sell, you can sell it obviously closer to the winter. And then obviously if you've got shorts and t-shirts, you can sell that in the summer. But you don't need to do this stupid seasonal stuff and collections on certain dates when everyone else is doing them you could just drop two times in a year um different you know two main collections in in a year and then kind of have little things in between there like collabs and stuff going on so this is no surprise if you're a streetwear head you know what i'll go on with this but again like i said i think cortez have been doing amazing work this is another um bigger picture of the actual jacket that they've got selling what well, that's going to come out soon it's actually gore-tex as well i didn't know that oof this looks beefy like you can just tell from the picture itself right um the jacket is like it's it's a substantial piece you know like the the, the shape of it is absolutely incredible too actually you've got this nice sort of like arch which kind of looks like an n right and it carries that shape all the way around so that's how you know it's been cut really well you've got the inside here it's got that big n and then of course you've got it here around the edges of the shoulders too it looks really fucking good um if it was me again nitpicky i'd like this logo to be tonal too if the back logo is white tonal i'd like the front one to be tonal then maybe you can have the little um logo or branding here on the wrist to be different but i do like how it looks man it looks absolutely fantastic look at that i think it's probably going to be waterproof as well um nice big collar funnel collar too so you can kind of hide your face behind it and sort of use it like a de facto scarf um and i also like the kind of champagne brown type of lining on the inside also i'm a big fan of it i wonder if it's going to come in different colors i doubt it but and i also i'm curious to know why they picked this colorway it's interesting one to pick in it like this white puffer because um you'd imagine it'd get dirty really quickly or whatever who cares but i wonder why oh it's not it's actually, actually not gore-tex okay i thought the logo the logo kind of looked like a gore-tex logo maybe that was um done on purpose it says bolo big um on the logo there and of course you've got those little um cortese and signa on the inside as well all the stuff is really cool as a as a customer to purchase but i'm assuming a lot of this is also done to like you know to avoid um counterfeits and shit because all this stuff is a lot harder and maybe costs a lot more money to kind of do and they always do all over print um tonal logos on the inside there but yeah it looks absolutely fantastic i'm a big fan of it i love that jacket and um, we've got some other bits in here too i want to quickly check out oh, and again and um, this is their collection throughout the earlier the year just to kind to show you that i've been um you know liking what they've been doing recently and i think for me something that i'm kind of gutted i missed out on is this tracksuit this olive green um it kind of looks like an army um, material type of um, tracksuit jacket thing going on it's so hard i'm so pissed off i didn't get this when it dropped um so you've got this kind of like an anorak um half quarter zip um jacket i wouldn't say it's half zip so it's a quarter zip jacket you've got this really big pockets it kind of if anything reminds me of like head porter i remember porter had like a collection similar to this where they had these anorak type jackets and pants with pockets all over them if anything i think the, the head porter one had the same pockets on the on the jacket on as on the pants which well, is a bit different so you've got this big 
massive pockets here at the, at the at the front on the chest you've got two different types of logos one with the badge one with the screen printing you've got the slip pockets on the side you've got these nice pockets here on the white and then of course the, what i've always liked about Cortez is the shape of the pants they're neither too flared or they're too baggy they're just about right and then you've also got the addition of this cool little strap on the side um where you can kind of adjust the the what you call it the hole um, at the bottom of your pants as well but yeah very 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 well done this is one of my favorite pieces they've ever put out to be fair i'm not gonna lie i absolutely adore it and of course the lookbook pictures imagery itself looks absolutely fantastic i'm not really too bothered about the polo zip thing going on there but again just really nice pictures very well done um i love the prison pants they look really cool too in the orange maybe ties in with the alcatraz cortez logo and they've also had gloves as well in the past i look really good i'm assuming would double up as good um calisthenic type of things going on there as well um and actually you know what's actually good about Cortez? i'm just thinking about it i don't really know them or think of them as a t-shirt brand you know i think of them as like making actual pieces that's actually a really impressive part of what they've been able to do over the years you don't actually think of them as like just making t-shirts um they make far more than that and then of course one of the other things that i really liked about what they did was this varsity jacket they put out earlier because i don't know what it was about the varsity jacket but it looks very london if that's possible I don't know if it's because of the branding at the bottom of the jacket that's kind of, you know, making me go crazy. But I love that the Varsity jacket looks like a brand from the UK making their own version of the Varsity jacket as opposed to trying to co-opt American culture and come off a bit beggy. I'm not sure if that makes any sense, but there's been a lot of brands I've seen in the UK who've co-opted that kind of American um, style. Um, I think even Clint is a, is a big... Um, is a big um, victim of doing that sort of stuff although i like some of the clint stuff some of the stuff can look a little bit too much like wannabe from la wannabe from new york was i think like Cortez do a good job of sort of taking americana streetwear menswear staple items and then giving them a twist a uk twist and i think that's what we always grew up with in the uk um no one really obviously there was a few african uncles out there that were trying to dress like they were from the states right from the states but for the most part we all just took what we saw with these guys on tv on music videos and kind of made it our own do you know what i mean that's a really i always think of that that legendary um top of the pops performance with um what you call it with more fire crew when they all decked head to toe in iceberg history that was a particular um very uk expression but then also a kind of flip on what we we're seeing some of our us counterparts doing but doing it in a sort of european sort of like lens so i do like the fact that they had this um jacket in the way that it did um you've got this amazing um ball uh british what, 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 ball i'm not sure you go british bulldog but i feel like this ball with the horns is somewhat of a uk insignia there's something very uk-ish about this and how it's written on there and i love the stars in between all the letters down the, on the end as well um rules the world in between is absolutely incredible and the numbers in the front too but i'm, I'm assuming it did really well because it sold out pretty quickly i'm assuming and then the same with the mohair um you've got some nice pants here in the back and again the models the casting the posing everything just looks so good man you want to you just want to wear everything in this collection um i love a great tracksuit um not really again not too fond of the logo itself personally if it was me um i love that the, the, they're wearing the nocta drake slides again uh, i think the slides whatever the shoes are called um they look really good there in that collection and then you've got a really good picture here with this nice little crop top with the logo on it too so yeah big up cool tees do always do incredible and great things a uh, big fan of the brand love how they're growing and again another cool imagery lookbooks after they put on this this subaru impress a tracksuit might be one of their best ever to be fair um really really well done um this amazing another amazing what's this, this is like a pinstripe denim suit is that pinstripe no it's not pinstripe but it looks close to it that's fucking fire in it that looks so good bro like honestly cortez do some really really good work i have to be honest they, they might be my favorite brand from the uk hands down if you're not gonna wear it you know palace is fucking dud done out here and it's very very caucasian anyway or a certain type of you know urban individual would be wearing palace you know those labrook grove man them that rolled up their own cigarettes and wear loafers with tracksuit bottoms and shit allow that but if you're on something a little bit different and supporting someone that's actually doing some good work and seems pretty chill i think this is a good option so yeah big up cool tees and actually to end it 
let's play their ad they just put out this really cool advert um randomly i'm not too sure even what the point was of this to be honest um it just kind of dropped randomly and they put this ad out and it looks fucking incredible i'm not going to lie i think actually it might be to promote the parker i take it back i think it might be to promote this parker if i'm not mistaken i think the model is wearing this parker here right this um this um big off-white parker that's going to be coming out soon uh, i think that's what it was kind of done to promote if i'm not mistaken so let's play this and then of course we'll move on and who's it directed by? So let me just give that person credit. It's directed by a person called Walid Labri. So big up Walid Labri, big up Cortez, always doing some cool, interesting things. Let's play this advert right now. This is UK heritage, by the way, right? Coffee shops, right? Breakfast spots, cafes, CAFs, as we like to call them here in the UK. This is British heritage. And I love that um, CAFs, especially in ends, are like um, the sort of like, they're basically a better meeting ground of all different types of cultures than going to the pub. Pubs are usually very, very mundele, right? There's loads of whites over there, but I feel like CAFs are usually a better place to get a real reflection of what your area is like in general. And, you know, some CAFs are made better than others, but mostly you go there for a fucking greasy fry up, a ham sandwich, a jacket potato, some lasagna sometimes, right? It can happen to lasagna with fries is a very um, UK way of eating lasagna, but I love how cafes are like the staple of some communities. And they've basically turned into the de facto community centers that we all know and love. Let's continue with the video. <laughs> some guy peeking through the window. <laughs> Boom. Bolo is big IG. <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? It's pretty cool. So yeah, big up Cortez doing excellent work there. Big up Cortez doing absolutely excellent, 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 undisputed great work. <laughs> 